easier as you get older. But I'll be honest, one of the reasons I split with, with my ex-girlfriend was she was like, oh, Greg, we're in our 30s now. Maybe we should think about children. And I was like... <laughs> which was the wrong response. <laughs> and you were in trouble. We went on holiday, right? We met this couple on holiday, same age as us, but they had a kid that was nine years old. Turns out, true story, she got pregnant the first night they ever slept together. My girlfriend was going, oh, my God, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm standing behind thinking, hey, unlucky. <laughs> And they always say it's the first time you go on holiday together that you really get to know each other, which is why I think you should never go on holiday together. <laughs> this is what happened when I went on holiday with my now ex-girlfriend, right? We, um, we got to the hotel, and there was a problem with the room in her mind. <laughs> so I had to go with the guy at the desk, and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. And he's like, oh, no, not again, oh, fuck's sake. It's the international language of fucking high maintenance, right? <laughs> Guys around the world speak this language. You could go to any major European city on a weekend night. There'll be guys across a crowded piazza looking at each other going, oh, <laughs> This guy was all right, though. He went, look, don't worry about it, Mr. Burns. Don't worry about it, Mr. Burns. You go and take a drink in the balcony, and we'll come and get you when there's another room ready. So he said, fine. And after about 10 minutes, the waiter came up and said, sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Burns. Your room's now ready. As he walked off, my girlfriend went, I wonder how long it'll be before I'm Mrs. Burns. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but what she actually meant was, I wonder how long it'll be before a member of staff just assumes we're married and accidentally calls Mrs. Burns, whereas I jumped off the balcony. <laughs> it's weird. I like, I like the fact that my friends are having kids. It's nice to go around and muck about with them and stuff. I've got a mate who's got a little boy called James. He's brilliant. He's four. Go around. I was around a couple of weeks ago. My mate was upstairs. Me and, me and James just mucking around downstairs in the wee. It's good fun. But every now and then, James would do this. He'd go... <laughs> in the middle of something, he'd just go... <laughs> Thought I'd better say something to my mate, you know, delicately. So I went, mate, your kid's a bit weird. <laughs> James is still doing this. My mate goes, no, 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 no. You see the sensor for the burglar alarm? We've told him every time the light comes on, it means Santa's watching. <laughs> There's parents who are going, that's a bloody brilliant idea. <laughs> i tell you what else is weird. It's now my social circle is getting younger. My social circle itself is getting younger because my friends are getting married and having kids. So I still see my friends that are getting married and having kids, but you can't just hang out with them. You can't just phone them up and go to the pub, can you? So the guys I sort of see regularly, I'll go down, play a bit of pool, have a pint with, they're getting younger. I never saw that coming. It's weird. I don't really like it, to be honest. I was out there the other week, I was in the pub, and some of these guys are like their early 20s, and I'm like, oh. One of them came up to me and said, what's wrong? I said, well, look, I'm in my 30s, you're in your 20s. I'm, I'm starting to feel a bit like the Fonz. <laughs> he laughed, he went, ha, oh, I went, you don't know who that is, do you? He went, no. <laughs> there's a lot more pressure on kids now as well, you know, because of image and stuff. I've read, apparently there's kids as young as seven now. Kids as young as seven, embarrassed about their bodies. <sighs> Particularly the little fat fuckers. <laughs> It's very sensitive, the weight thing, isn't it? You can't make jokes. I love that show, The Biggest Loser, which I think is quite a mean title for people already feeling quite bad about themselves, right? <laughs> My favourite moment of The Biggest Loser was the other week. It went, tonight we meet 22 Stone Rav. His family don't know. He's a secret snacker. I think they do. <laughs> oh, I think they've got a fairly good idea. <laughs> Well, those floorboards are creaking at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Do you think Rav's gone for a jog? <laughs> My favourite is when it's just a bit of puppy fat. Like, how many puppies did you fucking eat? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Comedy Store. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>